Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here with Player Select Gaming, and we're back at Spawner Central. And if you guys watched the last video, you would see that we found a zombie spawner right next to a skeleton spawner, which is right beside a cave spider spawner, which is right over there. You can hear him messing around over there. And so what I did was made some really small, oh boy, party over here, small, compact, just XP get out of here little grinder things where you just grind away on the mobs and let's just there we go and so on this in this corner we have the zombies on every here we have the zombies this iron sword is gonna break yep there it goes so let's just punch these zombies turn it down I don't want that to feed through my uh, microphone that'd be bad since I'm not wearing headphones okay let's enough of this that's one way to take care of them all quick. And I've definitely been grinding. Um, grinding these XP farms, getting XP, going back and enchanting stuff. And it's also good for our arrow production since we do not have any chickens yet. I mean, we already have 38 arrows. It's not too bad. And so, um, I just want to show you guys I have this little setup right here. Look at all these spiders. Get out of here. Can they hurt me? No. Actually, they probably can. But yeah, we have these spawners set up. All I have, if it's the same setup in both of them, um, I just put two water source blocks in each of the corners, and I have this one dropped to a three wide because the square over there is actually a little smaller because it's right beside um, an abandoned mine shaft, so it's a little bit messed up. But I just have two, um, one source block there and one block there, and they come to the corners, and I just dug out the here and dug them two down. That way they can't jump out and they're just stuck here and. I just leave a one wide opening gap for me to take them out. They can't get me unless I stand like right here, but um, you should be fine there. Same way with the skeletons, though. Since they shoot you, though, you have to do a little bit of moving stuff around. Um, I tried with some half slabs, different stuff, but, I mean, this is just as easy. Just bring them down and put a block in front of them so they cannot walk forward or see you, and you're completely safe. And so that's that. So we're going to head back. I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff I've been working on. So we'll see you guys in a bit. And we are back home. And so I've decided to go all, oh yeah, iron, no. All diamond armor. I have my iron armor throughout here. And uh, I actually need to get some more diamonds. I only have five left. Um, I might need to get a new sword sometime soon. But I went ahead and enchanted some books as well as the items themselves. Um, we got a pretty beast helmet, fire protection three, aqua affinity. That's what it came with. And I got a respiration two. put that on there. Um, this is still lame projectile protection, um, protection three pants, not bad. And I got protection three on the boots and I got a feather falling book, which is pretty boss. Um, as far as sword, that's the same sword we've had for a while. Uh, we have, we upgraded to efficiency three, um, or maybe it was unbreak. I don't know what we did. Um, this is still efficiency two, and I put a fortune two on here because I want to get some clay blocks as well. Um, and so, yeah, I want to get myself some clay blocks. And I also have a couple other books, um, aqua another aqua affinity book, a knockback lame, looting three, which is nice, and blast protection two, which is lame. And so I don't think I'm going to put looting on this one. Um, I don't know. I might since it's already fire aspect. I might just repair this one. I don't know. We'll see when the time comes. And I, yeah, I just have another um, diamond pickaxe. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I enchanted this one. Fortune 2, I'm breaking 3. I couldn't remember if I enchanted it or if I was... Oh, my gosh. I've been doing a lot. A lot. But this is going to be a Fortune 2, I'm breaking 3. This is going to be my diamond, redstone, coal, whatever pickaxe. Um, the one that's going to give us a lot of nice things. And so that's pretty much everything in terms of tools and whatnot. A lot of XP, a lot of grinding. And between that little zombie attractor and the spawners um, we've had a lot going on and down here nothing's really new i mean this is still you guys seen this um let's go visit the old zombie trap if anything this is turning turning into a zombie villager trap because every time i go down i seem to have another zombie villager um, i'm pretty sure we have three <laughs> we have three down here so far i need to get these guys out um, and we will do that later this episode. We'll get at least one of them out of here. But uh, no, not. this guy has an, a decent trade. 13 emeralds for one diamond sword. And so if I can get these guys traded up, 
Um, so where I can give them something and they give me emeralds, we could have a pretty beast trade here if we can get stuff worked out where he won't expire. But, oh gosh, now, oh, what? Oh, seriously? Are you serious right now? This is... Really? Okay, please don't die. He's dying. Okay, well... Can I do this? Yep, okay. I wasn't sure if I was able to or not. I only have and land that cheats enabled so I can do the warping with the waypoints. I just don't want to have to deal with killing him. And plus that was my stupid fault. So. Okay. So we're going to head back up. And we'll continue with our little tour. Look at all these bows we have. We're never going to have to make bows again. Look, we got another one. Okay. I'm just going to stick that guy right in there. Okay. We need to find some chickens because I want to make more arrows. I don't have to totally rely on the skeleton spawner. So nothing new over here. I worked on the um, nether portal a little bit. I replaced everything that was cobble with actual um, blah, 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 blah. What's this called? Fortress. Nether fortress. Nether brick. Yeah. Place it with that. And I want to build an actual something around it. Uh, I put a little bit more ground back here so we can actually build something in terms of like an encasing. I don't know yet. But yeah, we got that. And then we have this little thing over here. Looky here, looky here. I decide to build kind of a village kind of thing going on here. We have a little stone pathway. This isn't anything fancy. It just used black stained uh, clay, even though it looks kind of brown to me. Um, with some, what's this? Spruce, not spruce, birch wood. And it's just like a little house, little gateway kind of area. And we have tracks coming up because I'm going to bring a villager. I'm going to storm up here. Probably going to replace it with iron doors. That way zombies can't get them. And so let's go back in the house. We'll take a nap. And we'll make it daylight. And so that's really all I've been doing. And so before I forget, I want to pose this as a suggestion to you guys. Um... Would you like to do like a question and answer type of video? Like you guys can ask me questions down below and I'll spend a whole Minecraft video or on camera video answering your questions. Um, that way you guys can ask me, you know, find out more about me, um, get to know me more, you know, what I do in my spare time, um, where I work. I mean, I guess you can ask where I work. I mean, that's not a big deal, but just random questions, different hobbies and stuff like that. You guys can ask them down in the comment section below. And I'll be taking them throughout the next couple videos. I'll mention this. And then a couple videos down the road, or if I get a lot, I'll make a QA and a video I'm talking about your guys' questions and comments that you have posted down below. And so I just thought that'd be kind of cool to do. Um, Kessel does something similar on his channel, channel called Comment Commentary. And he basically just comments on your comments, which makes it comment commentary. Commentception, pretty much. Okay, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Let's get rid of this stuff. We don't need this. Um, we have some gravel. Get rid of this. Rails. Yeah, we want to keep the rails on hand just for a little bit. Okay, let's get... Let's make some... Iron doors. To... Let's just make two for now. I don't want to get too crazy. Some buttons. Um, just, you know, don't want to get too out of control with the door situation. Uh, da, 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 da. I wish you could stack doors. I don't understand why you can't stack doors. You can stack other stuff, but not doors. Okay. Actually, those doors look pretty cool right there. Um, okay. Do they normally stick in like that? Whatever. 
These are flush. Don't care. Okay. Let's put this here. No. Oh. There we go. Hop, 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 hop. We'll go down here and we'll bring the villagers up. That way they're not stuck down here in the dirt. They've been down here for a while. And I can guarantee you they're probably sick and tired of being down here. Okay. Okay, there's one. I'm going to push him up. Here we go. Go to your new home. Come on, buddy. Come on. And I don't know exactly what the situation needs to be for village villagers to breed. I don't know if they need a certain amount of doors or a certain amount of space, but I'm just going to put a bunch of them in one building. I'll throw a bunch of wooden doors in there, just random, and um, we'll see how they do. Okay, get in there. Okay. I need to block your access. Okay. Get out of the floor, man. Okay. That's one villager. So hopefully you guys do put some comments and questions out in the comment section below. Um, I wanted to do something like that for a while, but honestly, I just keep forgetting. I'm like, oh, what should I do for a video? Oh, yeah. I forget. I remember this stuff when I'm at work. Okay, how about somebody else get in there? Okay, I'll just push you in. Get in the minecart! Oh my gosh. Get in the minecart. Get in the minecart. He's going the right way, though. Oh my gosh. Does he know? There he goes. Now, as long as that other one doesn't get any smart ideas and just run off. <laughs> get in there. Get in there. I don't want any lip from you. Who knows? I was going to say, the last one's probably, he's just gone. He's wandered off. But I don't think he is. Okay. Hup, 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 hup. We're going to get the last dude. Come on, last dude. There he goes. And we'll get him out of here. That way we can actually clear this place out and actually use it again. But I'm still going to keep that, actually. Um, and use it as a place to get zombie villagers. In case these guys don't want to breed or whatever they do. Oh, gee whiz. I punched you in the face. Sorry about that, bud. Sorry about that. Meanwhile, okay, you guys can all free reign again. They're like freaking out. Get out. Do not just chill out right now. Chill out. I cannot do anything with you freaking out like this. Look at this guy. Can't you be like this guy? Okay, here you go. Now, Make a village right here. This is your first house. I'll give you a door to play with. I know you guys love doors. So I'm going to give you doors. Actually, if you put the doors like that, zombies can't get them, but they, they can still open them. Um, okay, there you go. Doors. So do your thing. And just, yeah, do your thing. And hopefully in a couple episodes, we'll have lots of villagers. Okay? What do you guys think of this little building here? I mean, it's not supposed to be a grand creation. But it's a nice little, oh, whoa, gateway. And I put some struts on the bottom just to make it seem, you are what I need. That's so weird. I was just saying how I need a chicken, and then there's just a chicken. Just chilling out. Okay. I need to get you. I need you, chicken. Come to me. Come on. You're going to stay in my house. Come on. In here. Come on, you're going downstairs. 
Come on, chicken. Is this animal abuse, like, hoarding these animals downstairs? No. Okay. Now, you stay here, and you just throw out eggs every now and then, and you'll be okay. But, yeah. Back to this area. Um, I... Bu -bu -bu after it's all finished, I want to put... Um, pathways yeah I'm gonna keep this here because I guarantee I'll get more villagers um, pathways to different little areas where there's different buildings like I want to put a building up here um, and maybe like a little small like lookout place there's there's more chickens around here than I thought um, make it maybe another little lookout place over here just build something um, just different little buildings every now and then uh, put, a, put a like I said building right here put a bridge um, Maybe like a river through here, going to that river, or going, I don't know where. And then a building right here. And then maybe another building back here. I don't want to overdo it, but I want to put enough buildings where it looks like a decently populated area. And I just want to have some fun building some stuff. And hopefully you guys can have some suggestions of the types of houses to build. Um, I was just messing around with the clay blocks and the wood, and you know it turned out kind of good. And I'm decently pleased with it and i think that's everything i wanted to cover in this episode i'm trying to think um showed you guys my tools and my armor we got the villagers rounded up did a little bit of a update tour showing you guys um where or what i've built and some of the stuff i've changed um somebody commented in the comments saying that they played my <clears throat> excuse me played my seed and they were exploring, and they found a skeleton spawner with, that's connected to a stronghold less than 100 blocks from where this house is. And so, I'm going to be definitely looking for that. I told I was like, don't spoil it for me. I actually want to find it myself. And so, I'm going to go looking for it. I know it's not anywhere around this area. I know it's nowhere around here because I've dug. Um, I've done a lot of digging down through here. And this whole area over here is basically covered because that's where that abandoned mine shaft is. Um... And so all of this over here is pretty much covered. Uh, but I haven't really done anything over in this direction toward the ocean. And so I'm thinking it's probably over that way. And so we'll definitely be checking that out soon. And I will be using this map to help me find it because, you know, that's just how it goes. And a lot of people ask me, um, what mod are you using? I'm just using Zan's mini map. That's the only mod that I have installed. If you want to know how to install mods into Minecraft 1.6, you should go over to Kestel Caden's channel and watch his video describing how to install mods um, on Minecraft 1.6 since they did change it. Uh, they changed the method of doing that since 1.5. And so, he must be able to fit through there. And so, I think that's going to wrap up this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. As always, leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And if you are, I welcome you and I thank you for watching. And make sure you follow me on the social links. They're all in the description below. Uh, TylerTGNT is my personal Twitter. And Player, Player SEL Gaming is the Twitter for this channel. Uh, mostly all that Twitter does is tweet out links to videos. And occasionally I get on there and respond to stuff. It's just hard managing multiple Twitter accounts. Uh, but most of my stuff is on TylerTGNT. And so, that's going to wrap up this video. Check out some of the videos here on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next one.